Hello. <sighs> Day 116 in my rebellious reality. I'm chilling on my couch, feeling all kinds of sensations. I'll just leave it at that. Um, and reading this book, The Surrender Experiment by Michael Singer. I just finished the 100th page. I began reading this around 11 o'clock this morning. I've taken breaks. I am <clears throat> enthralled with this book. I cannot recommend this book enough. He has another book called The Untethered Soul. I've read it. I was not into it as much as this. Don't want to put this book down. It also takes place in the 70s. I feel so connected to that time. I feel like my heart is so open right now. And um, I don't even know if I should elaborate on this book. He just, um, he basically gets like addicted to meditating and um, decides that, you know, he, he be, the reason he got addicted to meditating is because he realizes that the voice inside his head isn't actually him one day randomly in a conversation with somebody and that he can observe the voice inside of his head. So he becomes obsessed with it. He wants to just do nothing but figure out how to shut this voice off and uh, all of this journey leads him to a place where he realizes that if he lives with his preferences, um, that, you know, the voice is mostly focused on what he wants and what he doesn't want or what he likes and what he doesn't like. And so he decides that if he lives his life by his preferences, that he's going to be controlling his life and he want he had... Um, experience proof of how leaving things up in the air um, and believing that you know we're all on this planet that's like spinning through the universe you know we're like like a little speck of freaking dust in the universe that has been around for billions of years you know he figured like why wouldn't you know, if I'm trying to control my life, like, wouldn't life be better if I, like, let the universe control my life? And Because it's been doing things for billions of years, and, like, look how great it, everything's turned out, you know? So, um, and he had some personal experiences. So, he decides that no matter what, if something's put in his path, he's not going to let his personal preferences direct him in deciding to say yes or no he's just gonna say yes and I'm um, halfway through this book he began the book by saying that he was flying in 1999 he was flying to a state to discuss a billion dollar business merger um, and this is a man who like went into solitude in meditation and like wanted nothing but to be in solitude and meditation and like his journey took him to I guess be like a billion dollar business owner um at least in the 90s so yeah this is just feeding my fucking soul right now and my sweetie pie is making me I got a craving for fish and chips and so my sweetie pie is making me fish and chips for dinner and I get to sit here and read and feel all of my weird sensations down there. Oh, I'm just waiting. 